usually plan on dancing when they hire a DJ. Not always the case, but usually that's what they're looking for. And so here's a few, here are a few clips and different ways that we get the, the ballroom going on the dance floor. Speaking um, of dancing, we are going to open up the dance floor. If you guys would like to come on out and maybe work off some of that dinner a little bit, make room for the cake that's coming up shortly. We're going to open up the dance floor right now. All right, singers, one more time. So we're certainly trying to encourage the dance floor to, to really get going. Um, at a wedding in particular, uh, there are usually two blocks of dancing. There's one before the cake cutting and one after the cake cutting. The one before the cake cutting is like riding them to their first dance, the father-daughter dance, the mother-son, the family type dances, and then we kind of open up the dance floor for everybody. Well, we generally will have grandma and our aunts and uncles are going to be there during that time, so a lot of times we'll pick some of the songs off the request list that are more suitable for a broader age range. And then later on in the night, we'll probably go ahead and start kicking in some of the newer music and, and really open it up. The bride and groom want lights on the dance floor, yeah, we can make that real fun too. Give it kind of a disco type of a feel. As you can see right here. I don't know. Turn off the light and I blow. To the extreme, I rock a mic like a vandal. Light up the stage and rock a chunk like a candle. Dance. 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 Dance.